For my next trick, I need a shuffle pack of playing cards. And of course, as you can already see, a different pack card. Okay, this is gonna be a mystery card that we will use in a minute. Before we do so, I'm gonna take the cards and deal them on the table. I can go blockwise or one by one, it's up to you. Whenever you feel confident, whenever you like a card without seeing it, I need you to call out stop, right? Stop here, are you sure? No, two more cards? Here, great. We are gonna mark the position you call out stop with our mystery card, right? So we know which card you basically have picked, indicated by our mystery card. Now imagine this. We shuffled the pack from the beginning, right? I dealt the cards first blockwise and I said, I told you that I can also go like one by one. And whenever you felt like it, you call that stop. And we mark the position, you call that stop with our mystery card, right? And the card you stopped me at was this card over here. Now imagine this, 52 cards, one mystery card. You stopped me on the seven of heart. And my mystery card just happens to be the seven of hearts too. Hi everyone and welcome to the explanational part of this video. So let's get started with what you need. First of all, you need a standard pack of playing cards. Okay. And in addition to that, you need two cards from a different back deck, okay? One of them, okay, it doesn't matter which card it is as you won't show the faces of these cards to the spectator uh, during the pack. So it doesn't matter which card it is. In this case, I'm even using a card that is signed, okay? And this is basically gonna be a mystery card that you introduce first in the trick, right? Uh, but the spectators will now get to see its face. The second card is gonna be your prediction, so to say, right? It is gonna be the seven of hearts in this case. So what you do is this, you take a card from the other pack and take the matching card from the pack you're using, which is of course, again, the seven of hearts, right? Now you take these two cards, place them aside, your mystery card stays on the table. Now you need one more thing, which is taking any card from this pack, okay? Take a little piece of scotch tape, as you can see here, and stick it to the face of the card. Okay? Just like so. And you're ready to go. The setup is very, very simple. Uh, the mystery card, where this pack you will never see what it is, gets placed on the table. Okay? You take the pack. Okay? Uh, the four of clubs is gonna be the bottommost card. On top of it, you put your seven of hearts from the pack you're using, and then the mystery card that will be revealed at the end of this effect, okay? And this will stay uh, sort of hidden at the beginning. And that's your setup. To get started, you can give the pack some shuffle from the top, okay? And you move these cards back to the top, meaning you don't destroy the order of the three cards on the bottom. Now, as you're talking to the pack hitter, you are gonna say, um, that you have here a mystery card. You won't show what it is for now, okay? And as you're saying, so you say, uh, before we go back to our mystery card, I'm gonna deal the cards on the table. As you're saying so, what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna take cards from the top of the pack, and you're really taking quite some cards, okay, so blockwise, and dropping on the table. The reason why you do that is, you want them to place the mystery card roughly in the center of the pack, right? And whenever you have the feeling that you have around 20 cards on the table, you continue by uh, dealing the cards one by one on the table. And as a spectator, call that stop whenever you feel like it. Let's say the spectator calls that stop here. Now you say that you're gonna mark the spot with the mystery card without showing it, and immediately place these cards on top of it. Now notice, this is the card with the double-sided tape, right? Meaning, this card will stick to our mystery card and it will disappear from the pack and the other one will appear, right? So you're switching the mystery cards without this pack either knowing. Place it on the table, okay, on top of the whole stack actually, square them up, okay? And what I do is now this, I turn around the pack. As I turn it around, I apply quite some pressure on the deck so the cards stick together. And I say, 
you could have really stopped me anywhere. I turned back around and respread the pack to show where they placed their mystery card, which is right here, okay? But this is now actually the card I wanted to uh, force on them, so to say, which is a seven of hearts. Now I say, we mark the spot, you call out stop here with the blue card. I take them out of the pack and I, and I repeat what we did during the whole trick, right? I say, we shuffle the cards. I dealt the cards on the table. You could have said stop anywhere. So we could have placed the mystery card anywhere in the pack. But you stopped here, the seven of hearts. And my prediction appears to be the seven of hearts too. And you end here. As you can see, in my opinion, a very clean looking visual effect uh, that you can perform anytime if you have like double sided say, uh, this gimmick, so to say, with the double sided tape will last you for uh, four to five performances, if not more performances. It might be a very good looking simple card trick that I'm pretty sure you will use. If you do so, share your videos on YouTube with me. That's it. I really hope you enjoyed it if you did so. As always, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and of course by leaving a thumbs up on this video. But that was the video. I hope to see you next time.